Hey everyone, happy Valentine's Day. Today we're gonna to be building a Valentine's Day R2D2. Here I have my R2D2 from when I was a kid. Now, this is kind of the inspiration of why we're building this thing. Hey R2, do you remember Darth Vader? He's got a lot of cool things on here. And so I love Star Wars and I wanted to, R2. Like I was saying, I. Okay, I'm gonna turn him off and we'll be right back. So as you can see, this R2 is actually a really cool thing and I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. What my family actually ended up doing a few years ago is building a Valentine's Day box with these things called Little Bits. Little Bits are basically breaking down circuitry and electrical engineering in a way that is easy for kids and adults to understand. They actually are super easy. They are already pre-made. All you have to do is magnetically connect them like this. Here we have our dimmer, which is connected to our light. All we have to do is connect our nine volt battery magnetically, just like this. And our dimmer is actually being used as a potentiometer, which controls the speed of the light. So what these are doing is it's taking the power and going through the magnetic pieces and connecting them, going through the dimmer. So then it's telling the lights to, hey, turn on and off in a way that computers talk with ones and zeros. If you're interested in this as a career, you can actually go ahead and check out your local technical college. For example, we have WSU Tech. You can take your gen eds and cheaper classes there and transfer over to a four-year school, for example, WSU, and you can get a degree in computer science or electrical engineering. They're both really good career fields. All right, so here we're gonna talk about the supplies you need. You're gonna need some cardboard, some spray paint, and if you're underage, make sure a parent or guardian is with you as you're doing this. So I have some green spray paint and some white spray paint. I already have this Easter egg here that is made into R2 with uh, tape. You may be wondering, why an Easter egg? Well, the bottom half of the Easter egg, if I, if I can get it, <laughs> oh gosh, there we go, is a perfect circle for R2's head. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is try to look off a picture of R2 and cut out every little part exactly the same as R2. I had already done this, so I don't have to do it now. Next, we're gonna take this cardboard and we're gonna go ahead and cut it out in a circular shape. And uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. So now that we have this cut out, we're gonna go ahead and just bend it, kind of try to make it a circular shape to the best of our ability. So now that we went ahead and bent it all, we're gonna go ahead and go to the painting lab that we have here on campus and go ahead and spray paint it. All right, everyone, so now that we have our parts, let's go ahead and come over here to the painting lab. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you have a safety mask and you wanna be careful to not suck in the fumes. We have this and we also have the painting lab that will suck out all the fumes down. So let's go ahead and get started. So now that we're done spray painting him, what we did is we just took a cardboard piece and just did a rectangular and tried to mimic his legs here. I would definitely do that because that will make the R2 look a lot cooler. Now when you're doing this, we went ahead for some of the details. We did stencils to get the straight lines. You could do that or you could use a paintbrush, whichever one works for you. Hey everyone. So while I was watching back this footage, I realized some of the steps weren't very clear on how to put the door on the R2-D2 as well as cutting out the legs and putting them on. So I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. Next thing we're gonna do is cut out the leg, the rectangle, and the door for the R2-D2. Now that we have our legs cut out, you're gonna to wanna to paint them but I'm gonna show you how to put it together before we paint them. What you're gonna do is take your square and bend it in four different directions. That way you can kind of get this hollow rectangle and then take your R2-D2 leg 
and glue it on, just like that. Now that we have our cardboard cut out, what you're gonna do is take your paper clip, and bend it just like this, and slide it through the top of the cardboard, like so, and tape the paper clip to the cardboard, that way it won't fall out. The next thing you're gonna do is take your servo. There is a right way and a wrong way to do this. You wanna make sure to connect it to a nine volt battery and figure out which way it pushes. If it pushes forward, it will open the door. If it pushes backwards, it will close the door. So what you're gonna do is slide the servo on to the top rung, just like that, and connect it to your R2. The final step is we're gonna take our R2 we've cut out and fold it open just like this. That way we can put the door on. What we're gonna do is tape the door just like this and see how our servo is sitting here. What we're gonna do is just tape our servo on just like this. And now your R2-D2 is all done. So now we're gonna take our power with connected to the nine volt battery, our proximity sensor, and a wire out extender, just so that we can have a little room to play with. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the servo swing to the wire out, then connect it to the proximity sensor. As you can see, it opens and closes, which is really cool. When you come close, the proximity sensor opens. When you move away, it closes, just like that. So now when kids come in to give their Valentine's cards to you, you just have to click it in there, it'll open up and then close. So now I went ahead and added duct tape here and I'm gonna go ahead and just put the R2 head on, just like that. Try to get it snug on there. So now you have a really cool Valentine's Day box. All right, so thanks for joining me for this build. Now remember, if you are interested in this with maybe the computer science or electrical engineering, there'll be a link in the description down below to check out more information. This is Bailey from Future Maker. See you next time. <laughs> He's scared to be turned off. <laughs> All right. All right, so here we went ahead and did this as a circle. <laughs>